Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we set up RPA on our ServiceNow personal developer instance. In my previous videos, I have given the introduction about the RPA and how can we activate RPA on ServiceNow. If you haven't checked out those videos, please be sure to check those videos out. The link is in the description. We will jump to ServiceNow and we will see how can we set up our RPA. I'm in my ServiceNow instance and this is on Utah release. So you have to ensure you are on Utah before you set up this RPA because it is available only in Utah. And if you don't know how to upgrade your ServiceNow instance, please click on the top right corner. And if you want to procure a new instance of ServiceNow personal developer instance, please check out the video in the top right corner or in the description. Let's now jump to setting up of our RPA. I will click on all and type here robotic process automation and I will scroll down a bit and I will click on guided setup. No, we will we'll not be doing the actual guided setup. I need this for downloading our few links. Once I am in the guided setup, I will scroll down a bit and under unattended robot, I will click on download and install unattended robot and I will click here on configure then. So now you would see there are few links which have been given to download. So we have to download all of them to start building our use cases. So you have to download each one of them by clicking here on the download button. I have already downloaded all these files. So please ensure that you have the admin access on your laptop to run MSI files. I will go to the Windows Explorer now to install these applications one by one. So this is Ro Robotic Process Automation Desktop Design Studio. We have to install this now and I will say run. So once you have the admin access and you click on MSI file, you will get this pop up. You will have to click on next and it will be set up in this particular file location. And it's up to you if you want to make it available for everyone on your laptop or computer or for just yourself or your profile. I'll click on next and then again next and it will install your desktop studio application. I will close this now. I will now install unattended robot MSI file. I'll again double click here and a similar pop up will again come up for unattended robot. I will click on next and it will be stored in this particular file location. I'll click on next, next and it will automatically install. I'll close this. I will now install attended robot MSI file. I will click on run and similarly we will get another pop up for attended robot wizard and I will click on next, next and it will also install this attended robot now. And after our attended robot is installed, we have to install this last application unattended robot login agent.msi file. I will install it similarly by running and then I will get a similar pop up and I will again click on next and it will be installed automatically. So after all these four applications are installed, we are ready to use our RPA. Now you can go to your start menu and search for the design studio. And once you open this studio, it will take some time to open it. So now once your desktop studio is open, you can click on new and you can go ahead and create your attended automations or unattended automations. Give the name of your project. You can say my first project and then you can select the location as per your requirement. Click on OK. And again, it will install few things and it will open up. And also please be ensured to connect this studio to your service now instance. I've already connected it, but if you have to connect it, click on this icon connect to instance and it will ask you which particular instance you want to select or where do you want to connect it actually to. So here you can go ahead and say add new, give uh, the name of your service now instance, whatever you want to and give the URL. And maybe you can mark it as default and launch in default browser. So it's up to you. So once that is set up, 
you will have to log in into your service now instance you have to provide the admin credentials here and the password and you will have to log in and it will automatically connect to your service now personal developer instance or PDI so this is how you have to set up your RPA on your personal laptop if you have any questions do let me know in comments please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button and we will be actually creating a use case in our next video thank you